Thank you for watching our tech. Welcome back. Today we're going to find ways to actually improve the range of your Wi-Fi router using third-party accessories and find out whether they work or not. So I have this uh, TP-Link Archer C2 router from the past three or four years. It's doing a decent job, but I always found that, you know, I could keep it in a better place, but just that uh, I don't want to move the LAN cables and the incoming internet cable. So what are the ways you can have better Wi-Fi signal at home? So consider these. You could buy a powerful router. These are expensive. This one's made by TP-Link. And um, there's also other brands like Asus who make uh, gaming routers, which can connect multiple devices, transfer data at high speeds, really good signal strength because they use uh, dual band technology. Um, or you can also start using uh, Wi-Fi repeaters, like the one you see right now, which is a Netgear. You also get these from different companies. You get TP-Link, which also makes some of these. You also have Tenda, which also makes good Wi-Fi repeaters. You can buy these, plug this into a wall socket, sync it up with your router, and that'll actually boost the signal, helping you get that extra range from your Wi-Fi. But what if you can actually mod the existing router you have by using some third-party accessories? Do they actually work? Because I am going to try doing something. I'm, I'm going to try out something uh, new with this. So this router has got very good antenna cables. In fact, the range is pretty decent. This is a dual band router. So these have detachable cable, detachable antennas. So I kind of uh, Google something and I found ways that I could actually uh, increase range so there are a couple of ways you can do this right so one is of course remove the existing antenna and go in for a longer antenna so these these are called booster antennas and you get this on eBay or Amazon they're a little expensive uh, but you know they could work so I, I didn't try this but this is the most commonly available antenna and you can exchange it swap it and it could work better you also get hardcore looking stuff like this antenna here which could kind of boost the range for a couple of meters kilometer perhaps but just make sure that they work with a modem or a router what i did was i just picked up a bunch of cables like this very simple ones uh, they're just going to be extending my antenna so i'm going to detach that original antenna for my router and add this on and that's all i'm going to do so the ends are just going to be fixed to my existing router so that's my tp link router and i'm actually going to i'm going to take off these antennas they're pretty easy to do that so you just have to unscrew them Again guys, I, I'm not sure this is going to work, but I'm, I'm just going to give it a shot and we'll do a small test to find out if it does. So uh, these have a few specs before you buy them. Just make sure that you know what spec of antenna this is. They have the SMA and uh, they call the SMA. Some of these uh, may not be compatible. Just make sure you get the right accessory before you kind of make a purchase because you'll have to send them back otherwise. So now the antennas have been removed. Also, uh, just another perspective, you know, when you actually think of uh, improving the range, there are a lot of things that you need to consider, right? For example, the router will come with a power cable. Uh, I'm just giving you some of the benefits of putting an extended cable for the antenna because you may not be able to move the router from its original position because of the power cable. You also have a LAN cable probably. You also could also you could also have a USB uh, drive connected to the router. So maybe you really don't want to move that. So this is where you know this antenna extension cable really helps. And look at this. I, I have I'm just showing you an example. So this this is the internet WAN cable which is just plugged in. You could also have a computer LAN cable running. So I'm just showing you that there'll be another extra cable going to your router. So it's already like three cables running on this. Okay, and this is just for one computer. What if you have multiple computers? What if you have multiple LAN cables running out of this router? And again, 
what if you put a hard disk this is this this uh, router supports a usb disk that's going to be another cable so that's one two three four four cables and that could be really cumbersome you know keeping this router somewhere in range could make you kind of run a lot of wires so that's one of the main advantages of this cable so this is the packaging it comes in it's called a Wi-Fi router uh, three meters long it is and this costs about uh, ten dollars on Amazon which means one one of my antennas can go on one of the ends of this and the other one will be plugged into my router right so let's go ahead and connect this quickly now do, do they actually work that's a question we need to find out does it affect the performance of the router just showing you how the two antennas would look now with the extension cable okay so what I've done right now is I've installed um, a Wi-Fi analyzer software on my f phone I'm just going to check and see uh, how good the range is on this one so now right now as you can see the cables are not connected it's working with the stock antenna the router is about 10 feet away uh, maybe 10 to 12 feet away and you can see the signal strength showing is minus 69 dBm right and uh, this is the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz channel so right now I'm using the 5 gigahertz channel for this phone so it's showing that the signal is decent of course the 2.4 gigahertz will have better range so that's showing a lot more on that okay I'm also trying to see if I can get any more analysis on this one so things look pretty good okay now I'm going to go and go ahead and connect these cables so the router is kept in the next room and uh, what I've done is I've extended the cable a little closer towards me so that it feels like the range will increase but when I run the software again I see a dip in performance that's right so the router is kept in the same place I've used the cable to get get it closer towards me but um, the signal seems to have dropped considerably again here it's gone down by about 20 decibels so clearly the cable isn't working so I'm just checking everything again but it doesn't look like the signal strength has increased so this proves that you know you could get a router extension cable it could really work for you in situations where you cannot move your router closer to you but if you really want the range to increase you either have to get a better router you have to get a repeater or you know find an antenna that works for you because clearly the extension cables do not work they do not work they do not give you better range they could help you keep the router in a place where the wires are concealed but I don't see any improvement in signal with the router exchange cable so this is practically not worked for me so I'm gonna junk it so I hope this video made some sense to you and um, that was my review on the router extension cable uh, thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give us a thumbs up please hit the subscribe button uh, thank you so much guys for watching and uh, see you on the next one bye bye